Hey there everyone, it's Ryan with Frontline Animal Removal. We're going to look at some uh, roofing issues that have led to critter issues. Uh, let's check this out. So the first thing we got here is we're on a metal roof. Commercial type building. So we got raccoon numero uno here. We got raccoon number two there. Raccoon toilet here. Now, that trap was set there because the raccoons repeatedly walk through here. This is a highway for them. This trap was set here because the raccoons are entering under this eave. Let's go up here and take a look. I've got some nice looking paw prints out here. They're walking right along here. And as we walk, the paw prints start to concentrate right along this ridge map. They come along and they're just trotting along. You might be wondering where, where do all these paw prints lead to? I'm going to show you. Right here. My shadow out of the way. You should be able to see. It's hard to tell. But that spot there is shinier shiny because they enter the building right there. So these raccoons walk from this spot here all the way down to there to enter in. So I showed you a couple openings. I showed you some uh, um, travel paths. So let's go look at where the building is really bad because uh, this roof is a disaster. This is a situation where there was installation problems. Uh, some of the problems I know how to address and fix. Some of the installation problems I don't know how to fix. So right there, we have a couple more transitions to the roof. Raccoons are getting in there. This is all covered with raccoon paw prints. They're just walking repeatedly right through here. They walk down that valley. They walk down this valley. They're going up underneath this. Look how wide this is right here. There's my hand. You can see how big this is. They're going underneath this. Look at this along here. See this? This is loose. They're slipping underneath here. Right here, there is almost 10 inches between the raised section of the roof and the lower roof. That is like a 20 foot long opening into the roof of this building. I do not know how to fix this. I do not know how to fix this. Here, I'll show you up close. Look how tall that is. They just go right up underneath. Now, if I had a bright, bright spotlight with me, I could stick it underneath there and light it up and show you all the rafters and everything. This is all roofing issues associated with improper installation. There is no easy fix on this. Major mistakes were made when installing this metal roof. This is where a contractor who specializes in metal roofs needs to come in to address this. Um, I'm good at fixing all kinds of things, but this is a major deal. I mean, you're talking about a huge section of the roof. So what am I doing here? I'm catching the raccoons, as you could tell earlier. Boy, there's a lot of paw prints on this roof. And so I'm not doing the repair. Somebody else is going to. So you might be wondering, what are we doing? Since I'm not going to do the fixing. Well, I gave my customer options. That's what I like to do. I can go ahead and get traps going. And I can knock the numbers down. Maybe get the numbers under control. And that will buy you some time to get the repair work going. Or you can wait. And wait for your contractor to get out here. And start doing some repairs. And then we do the trapping then. Well, the raccoon situation has gotten so bad inside, they opted for the first option. They want me to knock these numbers down. 
So that's what we're going to do. We're going to trap as many raccoons up on this roof as we possibly can, get the numbers under control, so that when the roof repairs are made, um, very little trapping will be needed after that. This is why it's very important when construction on your home, particularly with the roof and the siding, is done properly. Because that roof and the siding protects the inside from the weather. It also protects the inside from these masked bandits. Shortcuts, mistakes, and proper installation provides work for me. If you don't ever want me to come to your house, maintain the exterior, and do things properly the first time in regards to repair and maintenance. Uh, proper repair, proper installation, proper building keeps the animals away and keeps me away. Now, I like work. Uh, I like to earn a living. Um, but I have to say, I probably make, I don't know, 60% of my income from improperly done construction.